What is a bee doing in the middle of the shadow fold? Hey everyone, welcome back I am your host David. And today we are going to explain and break down the most important scene of Shadow and Bone Season 2. This week marks the premiere of Season 2 of the fantasy series Shadow and Bone, which was packed with thrilling quests and unexpected turns. The season has featured many unexpected moments for readers who fell in love with the Grishaverse when author Lee Bardugo originally wrote these books. The Passing of the Darkling, at the conclusion of Ruin and Rising, the third and final book in the Shadow and Bone trilogy, was unexpected, but not shocking. However, given that this is a magical universe, the Darkling's demise was not inevitable by the time Bardugo released King of Scars, the first book of her Nikolai Lansarv duology, five years after Ruin and Rising. The second season of Shadow and Bone ended with our heroes attending the funeral of General Kirigan, Ock of the Darkling. He was placed on a funeral pyre and burned. But afterward, we see a bee flying to Zoya. And while it's a small and, seemingly, insignificant moment, the bee is an actual easter egg and might hint at what happens to the Darkling in the future. Why was there a bee at the Darkling's funeral? The bee is a reference to Sancta Elisaveta, one of the Ravkin saints and Agrisha. She is the patron saint of gardeners and was trapped in the shadow fold along with two other saints, Sancta Gregory and Sancta Juris. She always has bees stalking her, and the appearance of the bee is an Easter egg. In King of Scars, Elisaveta steals the remains of the Darkling's body and preserves it in order to try and resurrect him. There appears to be a gap in the show's depiction of Alina, who appears to have complied with the Darkling's wishes by making sure he is completely gone. Once the two of them travel back to the side of the fold to try to cure Nikolai of the Nichevaya Aka shadow monster inside of him, Elisaveta misleads Nikolai and Zoya into helping her resuscitate the Darkling. At the end of the season, when the party was battling the shadow creatures in the church, Nikolai was hit by one of them and had a hole pierced through his shoulder. On the day of his coronation, we see him reveal the injury, and when he turns away we see that there are dark veins on his skin. Then, looking into the mirror, he sees the reflection of one of the Nichevaya instead of himself there. This is all set up for the story that we get in King of Scars. So, is the Darkling coming back? Answering the question is challenging. Because in a technical sense, the Darkling is revived. Nikolai and Zoya are duped by Elisaveta into participating in a rite they believe would benefit Nikolai. As Zoya discovers what is happening, she burns the Darkling's remains, but the Darkling's spirit inhabits the body of Yuri Vendanin. The Darkling does, therefore, make a comeback, but not in the shape that most people are familiar with. If the show is extended for a third season, it's probable that the upcoming seasons may include components of the Nikolai Lanstov duology and bring back the Darkling. His tale in the succeeding sequel Rule of Wolves is more complicated. It seems like the show is leaving an open possibility there with the Darkling, and we will just have to wait and see if this is a hint at the future or merely an Easter egg.